I am a Dropbox user myself and I've been using Dropbox for years. So I definitely love the product, but do I love the stock? Well, that we'll find out in this video. I'm going to skip through the detailed analysis of this company, go straight to my 18 point checklist, which is divided up into three different segments, the fundamentals, the momentum, and then the growth. Finally, I will do a valuation on the company to see what a fair price is to pay for Dropbox today. And then I want to give you one warning sign if you are planning on investing in Dropbox. So let's start off with the stock. As you can see in the last five days, it's down 1.52%. And to be fair, there has been a big sell off in Dropbox in the last month or so. As you can see in November, a lot of people have been selling the stock and it's down about 20%. And most of that is due to growth stocks selling off. So basically what happened was Jerome Powell came out. He said that inflation is not transitory anymore and that interest rates will most probably be going up. This means that companies like Dropbox and other growth stocks started selling off. So now that you know why the stock is down and now that you know that it's actually nothing to do with its fundamentals, let's go check out the business and then put them through my 18 point checklist, do a valuation on the stock and see what we should be paying for the stock. Now on a side note, if you want to see the key ratios and the year on year data, then you can go to our website Global Money Academy where you can get access to all the key ratios. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to head straight into the 18 point checklist and then do the valuation. But first, let's check out the stock overview. So as you can see, it's currently trading under the ticker DBX and they've got a market cap of 9.4 billion US dollars. Now the price since inception was sitting at $24.62. Today, this stock is trading at $28.42. Now Dropbox doesn't have positive net income at the moment, so unfortunately they don't have a PE ratio. As you can see, the net margin is sitting at negative 6.42%. The net equity is sitting at $333.8 million and that puts the equity to market cap at 3.54%. Usually our benchmark is about 10%. As you can see, they don't pay a dividend at the moment and they are left with free cash flows of 704.5 million US dollars. So now that we've looked at the stock overview, let's head straight into my 18 point checklist, scroll them down and see how they do in terms of the fundamentals, the momentum and then the growth as well. So first looking at the PE ratio, the PE ratio is not between 1 and 25. The net margin is in the negative at the moment, so not greater than 10%. So the assets are greater than the liabilities and the dividend cost is less than the free cash flow because they don't pay a dividend, so automatically they get a point for this. The debt to equity ratio, unfortunately not less than 40% because the assets are in the negative. The current ratio is at least greater than one. So why do I look at the current ratio? Well, I wanna see if the company has got more current assets to meet its current liabilities. For that to happen, the current ratio needs to be one or greater than one. Then looking at the shareholders, the shareholders have unfortunately been diluted in the last three years, so they didn't get a point for that. Now looking at the momentum questions, as you can see, there is a lot of momentum behind Dropbox and this really surprised me. So the revenue, the gross profit, the operating income, the operating cash flows and the free cash flows have been growing year on year for the last three years. However, the net income hasn't. So this probably suggests that there was write offs that happened over there. But as you can see, very good score on the momentum. Looking on the growth side, the share price have not doubled since inception. The return on equity and the return on assets, unfortunately, not greater than 10%. However, the return on invested capital is greater than 10%. So why do I like looking at this metric? Well, I love looking at the return on invested capital because this tells me how the management is investing the capital for the company. Usually my benchmark is 10%. As you can see, Dropbox is doing greater than that. So the earnings per share also haven't been growing by a compounded annual growth rate of 10% or more. So that is the checklist. Now let's do a valuation on this company and see what a fair price is to pay for Dropbox. So what I did in this video, because they have got negative net income, I used free cash flows as my valuation method. So what I did was I took three different scenarios, a low scenario, a median scenario, and then a high as well. And what I did was I took the multiples based on the free cash flow. So the price to free cash flow multiples. And how I got to this was I looked at the historical numbers and then it basically came down to paying between 13 and 25 for the price to free cash flow. So I used a low multiple of 13 and then a median of 20 and then a high of 25. This gives you a low price of $23, a median case of $35 and a high price of $43, which gives you an average price today of $34. 
So that is the valuation. That's what I think is a fair price for Dropbox. Let's head over to my verdict and see where I come out on this stock. So as you can see on the fundamentals, they only scored 43%. So the fundamentals actually doesn't look that great at all. However, on the momentum side, as you can see, there is a lot of momentum behind the stock sitting at 83%. However, on the growth side, also didn't score well at all, sitting at about 20%. Then looking at the analyst 12 month target, the analyst 12 month target is $34.43. And if we head over to the analyst target, you will see that they are bullish on the stock, rating at 3.6 out of 5, 2 being very bullish, 3 being bullish, 4 being neutral, 1 being bearish. If you scroll down, you will see that they are projecting an average price of $34.43 with a high of $40 and a low of $25. Heading back to my verdict, you will see that my fair price based on the free cash flow is sitting at around $33.56, which is more or less the same than the analyst. This will give you a potential gain of $5 and then a projected net margin of 17.85%. So currently I am pretty much neutral on this stock at the moment. So now you might be wondering, well, if my fair price is less than the price today, why did I give it a neutral rating? Well, I will tell you exactly why. Looking at the fundamentals, it doesn't look that great at all. There are definitely a few warning signs when you look at Dropbox. Looking on the growth side, it was only sitting at 20% as well. And then the biggest reason why I gave it a neutral rating there's actually a very good article on Seeking Alpha that explains this. So they say, lastly, products such as OneDrive by Microsoft or Google Drive by Google will always act as a threat for Dropbox product. Nothing stops these extremely established and profitable companies from acquiring market share in Dropbox's market if they see the value. These are factors that make Dropbox's long-term thesis a challenging one. And I completely agree with that. I don't think that Dropbox has a strong moat or a strong competitive advantage in the industry. To give you an example of my own Bay idea, I was actually a Dropbox client and Dropbox was and Dropbox was really one of the first solid companies in the industry. However, after Dropbox, Google came out, Microsoft came out, I actually canceled my plan and moved some of my stuff over to Google because, well, it's free. So why should I be paying for a service if I'm getting the same thing absolutely free of charge? And there was a few things that Google did better than Dropbox for me personally. For that reason, I'm giving it a neutral rating because I don't see a very competitive advantage for Dropbox in the long term. And in the long term, I think if these major players like Microsoft and Google really want to enter the space, they have got a lot of cash behind them and they are very profitable and they will make it very, very difficult for Dropbox to compete. And I think that they will be taking market share from Dropbox. So if you disagree with me, please leave me a comment in the box below. Tell me exactly why you think that I'm wrong on this point. And then finally, if you want to see stocks that we feel are undervalued at the moment, simply click on the link coming up in this video right now. Now.